we, I had a GMT social studies group and we were looking at the ancient Olympics and the modern Olympics and comparing the two and we had a big question which was, our question was which had a greater impact on society, the ancient Olympics or the modern Olympics. So we used a lot of solo taxonomy to help support the children with their thinking and to help them sort out their ideas. I asked the children to define citizenship, that was the first thing that we did and we used the define map and we looked at all the things that make up what a citizen is. We also used the describe maps quite a lot to describe the modern Olympics because we were doing this at the time of the Beijing Olympics so it was all fresh in their memory and they had lots to draw upon. And then we also investigated um, the ancient Olympics and we used research and reference tools to help us find information about that. We had to look at what, what the word society meant, so we used our describe maps to help us describe what a society actually is. And also we looked at ancient Greece, Greek society, uh, so we used the describe maps for that too. We used the compare and contrast maps to compare modern Olympics and ancient Olympics and also to compare modern society today and society in Beijing as, as it was happening around the time of the Olympics, so it made sense to do that. Um, so the thinking that we used to help the, children, help the children answer that final question where they had to justify their answers based upon their understanding of um, modern and ancient societies in Greece and in New Zealand today.